is Aileen Perez and I'm an astrophysicist and this is measuring distance in the solar system and the universe. So here on Earth is handy to have kilometers, you can have miles, so this thing is two miles away. Now when you talk about anything like how far are you from the sun, kilometers become a little difficult just because the distances become so great that the actual numbers become nearly impossible to memorize, they, they are no longer practical. So we come up with all these conversion factors that sort of put uh, the, numerical, the numerical analysis of distances a little uh, in, you know, in perspective. So Earth and the Sun, they have a distance of 150 million kilometers. So this is pretty far, uh, and that's a hard distance to remember. Uh, especially because if you're going to start calling everything by this distance, oh, this is two times further than the, you know, the Earth is from the Sun, then it becomes a difficult number to have as a, de as a reference unit. So this reference unit, we made it equal to one astronomical unit. So one astronomical unit is equal to 150 million kilometers, and that's the distance from the Earth to the Sun. So now instead of saying, oh, this planet is millions and millions of kilometers away, we can say, oh, it's just four astronomical units away, and so forth. And so it becomes a good unit for the solar system. Now, when you go out of the solar system, like let's talk about like the nearest star to the sun, Alpha Centauri, um, now we have a little bit of a problem because then this number is already getting pretty big. So we start looking at things in terms of light years. And the reason we look at light years is because light is the thing that travels the fastest in the universe and it's also a very easy uh, speed to measure. So in a sense, it's a good way to tell a distance. Okay, I know exactly how far you're going and I know how long it took you. I know how fast you must be. I know the distance from this. So if we look at Alpha Centauri, which is 4.2 light years away, Now this is much easier to remember, 4.2, than if you were to remember this in astronomical units. Now one light year is equal, is equal to 62,240 astronomical units. So we will have to be like, oh this is about 25,000, uh, 250,000 astronomical units. So that's kind of a uh, difficult uh, number to be remembering. So the next level right after the solar system, it will be to go to light years. Now what happens when we start talking about things that are very far away? I mean this is just the nearest star. So light years kind of remain around because they're a good unit, um, but we also turn into parsecs. So parsecs, let's say, describe more of sort of a galactic length. So and these are parsecs. Now one parsec is equal to 3.2 light years. And then generally we use kiloparsecs, which is a thousand parsecs. And then we use megaparsecs, which is one million parsecs. So generally speaking, in cosmology, now when we're talking about outside of our galaxy, when we're talking about really distant objects, we use the terms of megaparsecs. So this is sort of how we kind of scale our units in distance. Now astronomy also has other ways of measuring um, um, different units. One of the really important ones is the solar mass. So one solar mass is equal to 2 times 10 to the 30th kilograms. So that's really heavy, uh, and our, our star is actually an average sized star, meaning that there is a lot of stars that we know of that are much more massive than our sun. Like for example, the supermassive black hole inside of galaxies is millions of solar masses. So for us to remember that in kilograms, it will be extremely difficult. So this is generally the, the conversion that we use. So we say something is two solar masses. That means that it's just two times this amount. It's just twice as massive as the sun. Another handy one is the solar luminosity. So one solar luminosity. And by the way, the circle with a dot in the middle is to symbolize the sun. Um, and this is 3.8 times 10 to the 26 
watts. So it's kind of the power that the star is outputting. So when we look at a star, we say like, oh, that star is like four solar luminosities. And so then, therefore, we have a reference of actual power. And these are some of the references that we use in astronomy. There is a lot more, uh, but these are some of the most uh, commonly used. My name is Eileen Pires, and I'm an astrophysicist, and this is Units of Measurements in the Solar System and Universe. Thank you.